So, we have a new ink. Yes, and a new microphone that this video <laughs> is being recorded on. Yeah, and hopefully this works out well. We're upping our game, right? Yay! Yay! Dad's, Yay. Dad's birthday. I know. So, I have a new Ferris wheel ink, and this one is called Peter Moss. Yeah. Do you know why it's called Peter Moss? Because there's a thing called Pete Moss. How'd you know that? You got it right off. I was like... Because there's a thing called Pete Moss, and I know a lot of random information. You got that right off. I was like actually online looking it up going, why is it called Peter Moss? I assume it's because it's like yeah. Pete Moss, so just an elongated form of Pete. So I couldn't Peter. figure it out. I had to go researching for a long time, finding out that it is actually <laughs> named. It's a play on words I assume after. it's called that because it is the color of Pete Moss. Yes. Okay. So or that's that. So color. it took me like an, a day of researching to figure out it was peat moss. Play and I on just words. And you just got said, it what? instantly. And you got it instantly. <laughs> okay, fine. All right. All right, wise king. All right. So it's Ferris Wheel Press. And this is... Uh, Fairly good brand, honestly. It's very nice We've brand. We've gone a few recently and they've They're quite nice. never failed. I love the packaging. There's two cats on it. And we have two cats. Mm -hmm. Yes. Two uh, pen cats. I like how they do their boxes. Their box? The yeah. only issue is they can be hard to open. Yeah, I already sort of prepared it. Got it open a bit. So you open it up and they have. Love their bottles. They have these beautiful bottles. They're a little thin, but actually that that's all right. It hasn't spilled, right? Yeah. But they have a great label and and great packaging design and there's sort of a really always like an interesting illustration on all their products. They're you you know. Very it, it's very interesting how yeah. it looks. And it's visually appealing. The bolt, the nut on the on the, uh, the is the cap, is inspired by a printing press in the their office. Hexagon? I don't know. It, <laughs> it's six sided. Yeah. I don't remember yeah. if that's a hexagon. No. Anyway, so um, this is inspired by a printing press that has a similar bolt on it in their office. So yeah. that's where that comes from. And what I'm going to put it in is an old pen that I have. And I don't know what this pen is, but it has a really nice nib. And it's yes, it was mystery pen that we got because there's mm. like three pens, uh -huh. and then one that just had a, mystery pen and, and it had, had a fancy nib. Yeah, a George Peter uh, <laughs> Bach nib. Uh, yes. Pe or Rupp. Very fancy. So, George Peter Rupp. Sorry, not Bach. Overall, Rupp. very fancy. R U P P. Nib. George Peter Rupp. And he was a German pen make, uh, nib ma manufacturer who died in 1970. And he is... Anyway, this is a really nice flexy nib. So I'm thinking with this ink, it'll have some nice color. And it's a, this is... Yeah. Uh, I'm undoing the bind cap and there's a little piston and in here. we're also going so, to gonna, do a swatch of it. Oh, yes. What I, I'm going to first... Um, first, what I'm going to do is fill the pen. I'm going to put that in there. Here we go. Hmm. I think I got a nice fill. And here's some paper towel. Set that down. We're going to do an ink swatch, right? Yeah. That's yes. the other thing we do. Put that on. Okay. We're so what I'm going to do it in, in my book that I keep all my ink swatches in. Okay. And I'll put it... Those are my Ferris wheel press that I had done the other day. Actually, here's a Ferris wheel press right yes. here. That's the. Let's move this and cap it. Well, I'm gonna get a. I need a swatch. I'm gonna. Good point. I'm I was gonna, just gonna cap it so that it didn't spill. Yeah, I'm gonna just sort of take that out. I'm gonna do a little color swatch first. And as you see, it is a nice moss. Olive y color green. It, it's a very nice color. Yeah. It looks like peat moss. Yes. <laughs> and this is from their bookstore line, which made me wonder if there was a bookstore named Peter Moss Bookstore. But in my research, I didn't find a Peter Moss Bookstore. There is a Moss uh, Park in Toronto, which is where this company is. And there is Peter Moss, who's an author, but it has no relation. To this. I will say that so one dries a lot faster than um, this black. Actually, this is the so black far? dried fairly fast. Fairly, but yeah. So this is the. 
it Peter it Moss appears to be a fairly dry ink, if I'm correct. No, I don't know. To some degree, it's the the, the roaring patina black I found was very nice, uh, wet, and when it dried, it had a beautiful patina, as they call it, patina black. And I'm going to sit that there, and we're going to do a little writing sample. Right, so it's dry, yeah. and as you can see, it has a nice. Uh, actually, that's a really lovely olive green, really. I I like that as. There's no. I, I like this one. I don't think there's any metallic uh, shimmer in it, but it it, it's a it nice, definitely nice got green. a lot lighter as it dried. It's yes, I, and we I, should look at the back of this just to see how it's if it's going through. Actually, no, it hasn't really Not too really. much. You can see some ghosts. That's pretty thin paper, and I put a lot of ink down, right? It doesn't go through. Yeah. Nice. Honestly, I kind of like how it gets lighter because it looks like peat moss. <laughs> I've never actually seen peat moss other than moss that was... Uh, I've seen peat moss dried and, th and tossed on a fire, but I've never seen it You've never seen fresh out of the field. So I don't know if it would be that green. I, the stuff I saw was pretty dark and dry. Anyway, but, and that was when we were in Isle of Skye one time. So I've we're just gonna... seen peat moss growing on things. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to do a little like writing trees. sample. <laughs> and it was fairly that color. It looks beautiful on the page, honestly. I really like how it looks. Also, the nib is amazing. I like this nib a lot. It, it definitely has a lot of good variation in its lines. Mm. And it's very nice. Yeah, I think, uh, as you see, when you downstroke, you get nice and broad. Crossstroke, you get these very fine lines. That's the... Yeah, this, that's the interesting thing about this little nib. Beautiful line variation, flexy, bouncy. I, I and as I look one. at the ink, I, I really like this ink. It's a, it is a, an olive green, and I don't really have an olive green. You know? it, it's very nice. Yeah, and I really like it, and I think I'll keep it uh, inked up in this pen. Mm -hmm. So Anyway, so that's the, the Ferris wheel press feeder moss. Feeder moss isn't a person, it's a thing. Did you think it was a person? I thought it was a person at first. I went looking around and you got it right <laughs> off. So yeah, anyway, looking at it, it has nice, uh, with this nib, it has some nice line variations and, you know, shading here and there. Not really a sheen. It seems like a dry ink. With this pen, it's fairly wet, but it's a wet pen. Anyway, I like this ink a lot. Peter Moss, Ferris Wheel Press. I'm great glad to have it. Ink. Yeah, and... I've uh, tried a few Ferris wheel press in the last few. So far, from what I've seen, they are all like very nice inks. I yes. I, I, I love how they look. I like their inks a lot too. They're very rich colors. Um, I'll be trying some more. I, I wouldn't mind getting some of the, some more of their sheening inks too, like this roaring. Uh, that one black looks very really nice. The yeah. most interesting thing about that one is, in my opinion, how it kind of starts off with nothing and then. Hmm. Colors and Come tones up. and gold just appear. Yeah. If you wanted to see that video, it's on the channel. Oh, yes, it is on the channel. Yeah. And if you're new to the channel, it. we invite you to subscribe. Yeah. And, and if you want, like, like the video, then hit the like button to support us. And if you want to talk about anything or recommend inks mm -hmm. or anything, yeah. just have you tried Ferris with wheel us press? in the comments. What's your favorite Ferris wheel press ink? Let us know. Yeah, we're curious. Yeah. Which ones should we try next? Exactly. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Have a great day. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.